good. It's good. It's good. Like, always a pleasure to see you, sir. Uh, thank you, man. Good to see you. Uh, uh, talk a little bit. Was this a role that you went after? How did this thing happen for you? Because you and Seth have some great chemistry. It was, uh, you know, my, my agents, they, they told me about the film. You know, they send the email with the sides and all that. And when I saw Seth and Charlize in it, like, we have to get this, you know? Right. And, uh, you know, I remember auditioning for it, Seth is there while you're doing the read. So, you know, we're trying to see if we have chemistry together. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to take the, the sides into the room. And I was like, no, dude, I'm trying to impress you. So, you know, I had everything memorized, ready to go, ready to knock it out. And just to show him that I was ready to work, that even though it's a comedy, I'm, I will be here and be the utmost professional. And I'm here to knock it out the park. And I think that's what got me the role. Uh, uh, I haven't said it yet, but the movie's fan. I, I laughed my ass off watching this. Thank it, you. It is so, so good. Uh, Jonathan told me, though, his first cut was like four and a half hours. He's oh, like, that's probably mad funny. Right. So, <laughs> no, but he was, I was like, wow. And he was telling me some of the stuff that was, was cut. Did you remember anything that was cut? Oh, you remember every one of your jokes that was cut. <laughs> <laughs> every time you made the room laugh, you remember. Right. So, you know, there's definitely some stuff that... I could see how it wouldn't have fit, you know, where the direction the film was going. And I love the the finished product of Longshot. Jonathan is so good at balancing, you know, real life drama and real, you know, sensitive moments with comedy and keeping it hilarious and keeping it light. You know, he, he's really good at that. And we have such a well-balanced film that I think it's perfect. Uh, are you a little bit, listen, you just got into acting in the not so distant past. Like four years ago. Yeah, like, are you a little bit, because you kind of won the lottery a little bit with the projects you've landed, Godzilla, this, mm. you got this uh, uh, Just Mercy coming up, like, yeah. you're, you're, I mean, there's a whole bunch going on. Did you ever think that this was a possibility? Because it's rare, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no definitely not. I, uh... I wanted to be a writer. You know, that was that was really where my goal was. I was all about creating the world that these characters are in and not not playing one. But when the Straight Outta Compton happened, it wasn't about uh, acting in a movie for me. It was about, you know, cementing my family's legacy. So it was something that I had to take. And from there, it was just making it work. So I wanted to make sure that I picked roles that were night and day from, you know, my first film, just to show that I'm, I'm serious about, you know, my acting and I, I'm here to stay. You know, I, I'm here to make some noise. Uh, two other things I want to ask you. Number one, is Den of Thieves 2 happening? I don't know. Christian Gutegas is Den of Thieves 2. <laughs> no, I'm definitely down for Den of Thieves 2. I feel like we left it way too open. We got to make sure we close this. Uh, Nick, Big Nick, can't catch Donnie Wilson, I promise. Right, because also it did really well. It, yeah. Yeah, it was one of those movies where you'd think they'd want to do... I think they've talked about oh, yeah, it. Oh, no. We've, we've definitely talked. You know, we just got to get some paperwork. That's all. <laughs> uh, my last thing for you, are you going to do, are you even thinking about, because I asked your dad, if there's, a, you know, maybe you guys working together, you know, like a father-son type thing. Oh, yeah, thing. it's coming. Yeah, I was going to say, when is that coming? Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I got to get done with this long shot and, and Godzilla press, but, yeah, we got something cooking, and it's, it's right around the corner, I promise. And there we go. Thank, Thank you, you man. so much, man.